Okay, let's look at this question 17 from the matric paper of November 2017. Here are the things we need to do these electrostatics questions. Let's have a look here. Two small spheres X and Y carrying charges of plus 6 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs and plus 8 times 10 to the 6 negative coulombs respectively are placed 0,2 meters apart in A. State Coulomb's law in words. Wada, 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 wada. There's Coulomb's law. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force experienced by the charge sphere X. So this is quite straightforward. Four marks for free. We take this formula and we substitute into it. So the force is going to be equal to Q1, uh, K. Let's get K first. Okay times Q1. Remember, we don't need the, um, what do you call that thing? We don't need the sign of the charge here. We're just supposed to do the calculation with the, with the numbers. Okay, so don't put the numbers into the calculations. And so there's my top K, Q1, Q2, and it's all over the R squared, which is 0 comma 2 squared. So you just plug that into your calculator and there was one mark for the formula, one mark for the top row, one mark for the bottom row, one mark for your final answer, which is something like 10,8 newtons, no unit, no mark. So that's fairly straightforward. Okay. Now it says to you, a third sphere of unknown negative charge is now placed at a distance of 0, 0,3 meters below sphere Y in such a way that the line joining charge spheres X and Y is perpendicular to the line joining charge spheres Y and Z as shown in the diagram below. Draw a vector diagram showing the directions of the electrostatic forces and net force experienced by charge sphere Y due to the presence of X and Z. Okay. So we need the two forces and the net force. So if we have a look here, what is X doing to Y? Positive, positive. So like charges, repel, there's going to be a force like this. Okay, so that is going to be the force XY. Then we want to know what's happening between Y and Z. Now Y is positive and it said Z is negative. So Y wants to go to Z. So we're going to go Y wants to go to Z like this. Okay, should be a little bit straighter there. Okay, so here is the force XY, here is the force YZ. So where is my resultant going to be? Which way will this go? It will move down and to the right. Okay, so remember that this should be the diagonal of a uh, rectangle if you looked at this okay so this will be your resultant in the red over here so there's if you should label them if x y if x f y z and there's the resultant now it says to you the magnitude of the net electrostatic force experienced by charge sphere y is 15 comma 2 newtons calculate the charge on sphere z so they want you to find this charge here and, that, and you already know this value because you just calculated it over here. And they're telling you that this diagonal here is 15 comma 2. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is part of a triangle. If you make these head to tail, you have a vector triangle. And this is the hypotenuse of your triangle. So using Pythagoras here, okay, assuming you've labeled your forces, your net force is going to be equal, well, we're going to use Pythagoras, so it's your net force squared is going to be equal to the force xy squared plus the force yz squared, okay? because this is Pythagoras. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and they've given you C squared. So now you can go in here, 15 comma two squared is going to be equal to 10 comma eight squared plus your force YZ squared, 
Okay, so then you put these into your calculator, making sure that you square the 15 comma 2 and you square the 10 comma 8, and you end up with the force yz. Let me do it in my calculator. What's this? 15.2 squared subtract 10.8 squared equals 114,4. Square root your answer, and you get 10,696 newtons. So that's the force, okay? So once you've got the force, you can calculate the charge because you just take this formula again, okay? And then you say here, the force is equal to 10,696, which you just calculated, which is equal to K9 times 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by, what's the other charge here? This charge was 8 times 10 to the 6, 8 times 10 to the 6, okay, times, this is QZ, QZ, all over the R squared, and the R is comma 3, and it was in meters, so we're fine there, okay, so you just, oh, did I take the squared off, I must leave the squared there, and then, obviously, you put that in your calculator, and you work out something like this should work out to be 1,34 times times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs, no unit, no mark. So it's quite easy once you've got the net force, you find the force on the other side and then find the charge via the force. And that's the end of question 7.